Boys and girls, I noticed you've been doing a lot of work counting. I even noticed that when you go outside to play at recess, you're counting and you're starting to use some really big numbers. But I also noticed that when we start using really big numbers, we start getting stuck and stumped by our counting. So I wanted to do a routine with you that's going to help you count when you get up to those really big numbers. So for today, the number that we're going to start counting with is the number five so we're not going to start with one today we're going to start with five so take a second in your head think about if you start counting at five what's the number you're going to say next when we get ready to start think in your head okay show somebody next to you on your fingers what number you're going to say next all right all right ready we're going to count together and we're going to use a shared voice that means that means we're all going to stay together. So we're not going to have some people going fast, some people going slow. We're going to use one shared class voice. All right, we're going to start at five. Ready and go. Five, five six, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, let me stop here for a second. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. Let's just go back and count just to make sure we've got the flow and we're really feeling how to count these numbers, let's go ahead and count together. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-six. Hold on, it's a shared voice. Twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30. Now, I noticed you paused for a second there. What's tricky about saying, we started right here, so 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Why was it tricky to say this next number right here? Because it didn't have the same um, digit and it didn't have, it's harder to say. Okay, so you're saying, oh, so just the number itself is hard to say, but you're saying it didn't have the same digit. What digit are you talking about? The three. The three, so, so the three in the tens place, which is the 30, okay. All right, so let's go back starting right here, and let's just get a running start, and then we're just going to go a little bit further. Ready? And go. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. All right, so let's stop right here. I think we did a lot of counting, and I just wanted to ask you a couple questions. You all did a great job when it was in the 20s and when we were counting in the 30s. Something different happens here though. It seems like the whole class slows down when we're with that second row. Why do you think it's so easy to count these numbers in the 20s and these numbers in the 30s? But why do you think it's tricky this row right here? What's different about that row? Because in the other rows you're starting with the tens position. So in the other rows you're saying like 20? Yes. Okay, and or, or 30. So, so it always starts with that first tens place name. Okay, so it always starts with 20 or 30. What happens here? You're, those are tens, so you're saying teen after you say the second number. Well, that's confusing, isn't it? it that's yeah. just something completely different that we have to remember. Yeah, and, and this one, I mean, that one doesn't even have the name teen in it, does it? What yeah. number is this right here? 11. 11, and then 12, 12. and then here's what um, Jerry was talking about, 13, 14, those numbers are just a little bit weird, a little bit different. So that's something we have to pay attention to as we count. 
but all of these other numbers do follow that predictable pattern. All right, what else can we say about our um, counting here? What are, what's something that we notice as we look at all these numbers that we set as we counted? Mm. What's something that you notice? That the last number is the same number as this, this last number here, or are you talking about the last digit in a number? The last digit. Okay, which, where do you want to um, look? Do you want to show me an example of that, or tell me an example of that? The eight, and then just go down. Oh, so you're noticing that right here, when you go down, all of those eights are the same. Does that happen anywhere else? Uh, all of the other. All of the others. Tell me more. Uh, seven, seventeen. Eight. So you're saying all these sevens are the same? Interesting. Yeah, the, it looks like that happens every single time. There's this nice little pattern of things that stay the same. The sixes stay the same. The sevens stay the same. Is there anything that changes? We're talking a lot about the things that stay the same or the parts of the numbers that stay the same. What changes? Or are there any other... How you say how you say it okay what tells you so this is six this is six this is six this is six what changes here what is different with each of these numbers they're in higher they do places. they they get bigger or the place the value gets higher what tells you that that value is getting higher what part of those numbers tells you the value is getting higher the um what, what part of these numbers tells you that the value of that number is getting higher or the bigger? Tens. Yeah, the tens place. What's happening with all those tens here? As you go down, each time you go down, what's happening there? Ten. Yep, yeah, they get bigger by what? Ten. Yeah, so, so as they go down, they're getting bigger by ten. Bigger. By 10. Does that happen anywhere else in our chart? Mm, yeah. Where else does that happen? 5, 15, 25, 35, 14. Yes! So each time we go down, we are getting bigger by 10. Exactly. Is there anything else you notice in our chart? And it could be anything. It could be that Miss Coker drew one, um, one digit bigger than the other digit. It could be anything you guys want. Is there anything else that you're noticing in our chart? They all have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, so you're saying right here, for every row, there's something that stays the same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then it's not a 10, really. What is that digit right there? A 0. A 0. And then that pattern repeats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Does that pattern repeat in every single row? Yeah. I also see zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tell me about that. Well, you can't, uh, oh yeah, um, so like zero at the end of ten, and then eleven through one. Oh, okay, so you're saying if you start the pattern here, so the pattern um, can start at different places, so you could say zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Very interesting. There's lots of ways to look at the patterns. So boys and girls, today and every single day when you are counting, think about these patterns and think about how they can help you get to the next number when you get stuck.